everybody, welcome back to Geektopia Island. We're here with the new Kevin's Creations. I'm your host, Kevin. And I'm Cardwell. And today we're bringing a uh, fan requested deck, one that I made, and I, I didn't give a whole lot of credit to it to start, I'm not gonna lie, but it, it proved me wrong. Yeah. That it proved me wrong. It does a lot of work. And so the the, the ruler is Fushi, and I I wanted to call the deck according to what it does, and so I made a Sky Tournament. Yep. Uh, so essentially the deck is a big tournament of fighting dudes. It's really all we're doing, but let's break it down and let's see what it can do for us. So first off, Fushi. He is the red, he's one of the red rulers. Uh, Divinity 10, judgments for 5, 2 red and 3, and he energizes for a red. It's fairly that's, simple. That's good. Yeah. Uh, when he judgments, he turns into a 10-10 flyer with Divinity 10. Pretty cool. And then when he enters the play, you search your deck for a dragon with four or less cost and put it into play from your deck. Your deck. Just, like, just like that. Just boom, four drop dragon, go. So you get a little power for his, his judgment. Yeah, so essentially, like, you can get 12 or 10 and then like a 10-10 a or a 12-12 or whatever. Yeah. Most often than not, you're going to want to go get his dragon, but we'll cover his dragon when we get to the deck. Uh, but essentially that's all he really does. Yeah, so if he dies after that, then you're cool. You still got another dude. Yeah, yeah, you got a free dude. Yeah. Like, let's, let's sign me up for that. So his rune deck, it's actually really strong. Like, the red runes are really, really strong yeah, for what they do. they really are. Uh, first off, I used Explosion, because this deck's kind of late game, like mid-rangey, so you want to make sure you survive long enough. And Explosion is one mana, it's one red quick cast divinity. Uh, this card deals 700 damage to target attacking or blocking dude. Which pretty much kills almost everything, yeah. especially early game. Yeah, 7 can kill a lot, and if you need to push damage later, you can just be like, kill that dude, and you can push damage in. Yeah. Uh, we also have Dragon's Flight. It's 1 red quick, or not quick as, just 1 red for Divinity 2 rune. Uh, you can either search your deck for a dragon and put it in your hand, or you can have target dragon you control deal its attack to target resonant or your opponent controls. So essentially, your 12-12s, your 10-10s are going to be like one man to take that. Just, that, just one man of that thing takes 10 or that thing takes 12. That's essentially what it's for. And if you need to get a dragon, you go get a dude. I yeah. mean, I'll Simple search as a dude. Yeah, just anytime you want. Really, like, I need a dude right now. Yep. Uh, next guy we got is Poison Stinger. It's actually one of my favorite runes of the red decks just because they're it's, it's a lot better than it looks. Like, put it that way. So it's one red quick cast for Divinity 2. This card deals 200 damage to target Resonator, and if that Resonator is dealt damage this turn past that, it's dealt double. So the first two is just two. It doesn't double that. And then after that, if it's dealt damage, it doubles. Yeah. So for two mana, you can get rid of a potential like 16-16 if there was one. Yeah. Like, that's insane. Yeah, and if you saw our deck, deck brawl this week, you got to see how good Poison Stinger can be. Yeah. Because he had a huge dude, and I had to kill it. So I was just like, Poison Stinger that thing, kill the board. Yeah. And it just, it does double damage, so you just wipe the board with it. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, his Master Rune is actually probably one of the best Master Runes they've made. Uh, one minute quick cast, and it's got X, so it's a red and X. It's a pretty D2. It's a pretty broad statement there. Yeah. <laughs> it is, but it's it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so it can only be played with him, and you choose one. Target XJ Resonators cannot attack or block, yeah. or... You search your deck for a fire resonator with total cost X or less and put it into the field. So essentially you're just going to, most of the time I used it was to go get a dude. Yeah. And that's, I think, mostly likely what you're going to use it for. Because it's just, it's, it's a moonbeam butterfly at any time for a red dude. Like, yeah. I'll take that all day. And the fact that you're late game, if you're going to make them, them not attack or block, you're already winning at that point pretty <laughs> yeah. much. Yeah, if you have a big field, you can just be like, those dudes don't block. Yeah, swing, swing. death. Yeah. And they, they can't really stop you unless they're playing Hanzo. I just, I know it's a broad statement and bold statement saying it's one of the best masters, but it just, it oh, yeah. is super good. It's really, really strong for him. And the final rune that I run is Giant Sandstorm, which is four red and Divinity three. This card deals 800 damage to each resonant your opponent controls. It, it does a lot of work. Yeah. I, I will say forever and ever, if you're running a red deck with Divinity, you should probably run Giant Sandstorm because it's just, it's red's way to clear the board. Yeah. And red, it does really well, but it can get gob gobbed up with a whole bunch of stuff. So you just want to get rid of it all. And the fact that it does it to their board and not yours. Yeah. Which is amazing. <clears throat> yeah. 
Uh, unfortunately, I do have over 10 in Divinity, so I can only ever play four of these. But, but it still works. It, it's, it gives you the options, so yeah, it's where you're at on the Divinity. All right, with that, we'll get into the creatures here. Uh, Sendora Blacksmith. It's a one red, it's a two four, but if a fire resonator area you control would deal damage, it deals that much damage except for plus one. One more. This dude's awesome. Like, he's just a great one drop for red. Yeah. Because essentially he's three damage, because it's it's any kind of damage. Yeah. Any combat damage, any damage they do on burn spells, it's just silly good. With him. Because uh, speaking of, of uh, Lava Majin, two red, Six five. Whenever this card is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to Jay's Resonator, just in general. Yeah. So that would be plus one as well with him, because he deals the damage. Yeah. Yeah. Your little lava margin does the damage, and so you just like, cool. This dude takes some damage. Shoot that thing for more. Yeah. Great. And during play testing, like he said, he used a eruption, right? Yeah. Or in another spell, hit the lava margin. And then that damage got dealt to my J roller and killed it. Yeah. Like, just like, oh, okay. So it did wipe the board. It's yeah. Good. I mean, sometimes it just gives you, with a lava margin and any kind of like board wipe damage, it essentially doubles that damage for them. Yeah. For whatever dude you target. Because you're just like, shoot my dude, shoot your dude again. Awesome. This seems good. Uh, and of course, we're not playing guilt, but we have a red leaf. One red and one six six. Banish this card and deal 500 damage to J Resonator, which is good. Or Inheritance, which is one and you discard this card. This card deals 300 damage to target Resonator instead. Or J Resonator. So. Dude, Red Leaf, so good in a red deck. Like, I'm, I'm not yeah. even kidding you. Like, all the little leafs are really good in their perspective color. Because I Just, I didn't know about Red Leaf at first, but the more I saw him, I was like, this dude's pretty good. And the him, coupled with either the Sandor Blacksmith and or poison stinger yeah you get to shoot off a lot of things with that especially the poison stinger you're just like cool that dude takes 10 great and uh reigning champion in all of our <laughs> decks really uh, our first dragon is ultra dragon shooting star so it's three red 10 10 which is amazing stats for flying creature yeah. barrier blue and black so awesome and the gist of him is whenever a creature that comes into play on your opponent's turn or either side, right? On your opponent's side. On your opponent's side. If it didn't come from the hand, if it wasn't cast, then it takes 20 yeah, damage. 20. Yeah, 20. And Simple when he that. dies, you have to discard a card at random, but uh, I, you don't care because you're like, great. You just don't get to have your dudes. Yeah. And like any of the rulers that bring dudes with them. So if you're playing against a Fushi, you just get to be like, that dude takes 20. Yeah. Or Thanks. like anything that makes tokens, all those tokens don't get to live. Imol doesn't get to bring in another free dude. Nope. I mean, she does, but that dude just gets exploded. Is, yeah, pretty much. So it's just, he does a lot for you. And he's searchable with Fushi when you judge him if you need to go get him. You yeah. should be like, back, go get Ultra Dragon. Feel like I have a Tintin Flyer now. That's all good. Yep. It's really, really good. Uh, the other dragon we run mm -hmm. is his dragon, Dragon of Kunlun, and he is four mana for a 12 12 flyer. Kind of, kind of pretty good, but yeah. when he comes into play from your deck, it deals 10 damage to target J Resonator. So essentially, you play him from your Fushi or the Flame Soldier, and you shoot a thing for 10. Yeah. Now, it doesn't maybe not sound as powerful, but uh, this happened a, a lot of times. Like, there wasn't a game that that didn't happen. So. Yeah, and 10 is a lot for, yeah. for, for that. And even if you go get him on Judgment turn, you paid five mana to get 22 power in play and <laughs> yeah. shoot something for 10. Yeah. That's good. And it's all flying. Like, yeah. they, they have to fine. have ways to deal with that or they're going to die in two turns because yeah. that's 22 flying damage. I just, it it's it's a lot more worth it than you think. And his stone is really good for it. We'll get to that when we get to the stones. Oh, yeah. Now go ahead and tell us about your babe here. All right. So one of my favorite cards in all of Force of Will is Elixir the Majin. And I just, I like the way the card works. I like the idea of it. And I wanted to use that little Majin package. I don't have black for the crest, but it's yeah. okay. Uh, so essentially she's four mana for a 10-10. It's good. And she has an inner trigger, which as long as you control a red crest, she gains, deals six damage to your opponent's creatures. Yeah. Or your opponent's resonators. So all you got to do is have a red crest in play. And then she gets to be like, Board wipe. Yeah, just like big explosive field on the other side. And again, if you have multiple Sandora Blacksmiths, she deals more damage per each one. Yep. And if Poison Stinger, that dude gets, that one dude that got hit with Poison Stinger gets double damage. Yeah. 
and you have a lot of other burn spells in the in the divinity or whatnot to just help clear the board. So, so later game, yeah, you can definitely do that. Yeah, this this deck really clears the board a lot. Yeah, Elixir is actually a lot of really she's a lot of fun in this deck, and I wanted to use her just because she's a ten ten, and that actually matters. But we'll get to that in the spells, of course. And of course, we talked about the crest, so let's go ahead and jump on here. Yeah. Magic crest of fire, one red and one. And whenever this card enters the field, deals 600 damage to target resonator. That's simple. Yeah. Early game, that's your saving grace. You're yeah. just like two mana kill that thing. Just stave off damage until you get to your big dudes. Yeah. Six. That's your whole point. Six damage or six defense is around two or three drops, or yeah. one drops too. Yeah. Uh, one of the other big heavy hitters in the deck that we got is Set, and it's Set the Commander of Destruction. So he's four red for a 12-10 with swiftness and first strike. I. Yeah, no, I, don't, no. I don't really have anything bad to say about that because I mean your four mana just be like pow pow. Yeah, turn four or even turn three with uh, energize. You're just like ah, I have a twelve ten. Yeah, and he he does he again he's twelve toughness or twelve power for a reason. Yeah, and it's all for one spell and it's it's super funny and it's super fun, and in this deck it makes it actually really really strong. Oh yeah, but with that we'll we'll go to the addition that we have. Oh, uh, one of them. It's a uh, city of mirage, Sandora. One red, one colorless. Uh, when a J resonator you control is targeted by a Channer ability your opponent controls, you can banish this card, and if you do, cancel that spell or ability. It, Simple as that. Yeah, it's there to protect your dudes, because you're playing a lot of big dudes, and big dudes get targeted real quickly. Yeah. So you're just like, no, nah, don't. Just stay away. It's a mirage. You don't see him. And like one of those info mushrooms, you can set it and forget it. <laughs> like you just place it down turn two, and then just later game when... You're swinging with haste, dude. They're like, kill it. And you're like, nope. Yeah, I, that's that's essentially what it is. And yeah. it, it just gives you it gives you a little bit of a buffer. And that's its purpose, is to just be like, I don't want you to kill my dude. So suck it, green. We have, Red has something to you. Yeah, yeah. All right. And the next uh, chant here we have is Eruption. I'm starting to really hate fighting this card <laughs> a lot. Two red and one. This card deals 800 damage to each J Resonator. I... Whatever. It's, it's cool. so good. There's it's nothing fun. wrong with this card because yeah. it's three mana. I'm gonna board wipe and eight man eight damage kills almost everything that's worth worthwhile. Yeah, and as if you notice, pretty much most of not of your any of your dudes. Yeah, like your big dudes are not dying. Yeah. And even if your little dudes die, one of them you can sacrifice to deal more damage to something. Yeah. And the other he gets to deal his damage again to something else. Yeah, something so, that's bigger on their side. So the only thing you actually really lose that you worry about is a Sandor Blacksmith. And I mean, it's by the time you're playing Eruption, it's already done its job, probably. Yeah. Or you're just losing one drop. Like, great. Exactly. So, now, with this whole... The reason why it's called Sky Tournament, I'm going to let you just pass the torch to you yeah so you can enjoy this beautiful combo all right so i was going through this and i was making a goofy deck and i wanted to see what what i could do i wanted to use 10 10 power on dudes because i've always wanted to use this card yeah and this card that we're talking about that everything goes off of is holes martial arts tournament it's one of those cards that's from time spending witch that just got overlooked and nobody even looked at it and cared because yeah. it's just kind it's it weird. looks really bad and it it kind of was for a while but now that the format's a little slower you yeah. can play cards like this and i gave it a chance and it actually did a lot of work for me so for those that don't know what it is holes magic martial arts tournament is one red for a chant target a resonator you control your opponent reveals cards until they get to a resonator and then if that resonator they reveal has uh if its attack is less than the revealed resonator that you destroy your own dude. So like, if my dude is a smaller attack than your dude, my dude dies. Yeah. But if your dude is smaller than mine, then his other part, this other ability triggers that I get to go get a hero's bracelet and put it into play from my deck bestowed to that creature. Yeah, your dude becomes the champion of the tournament and yeah. gets rewarded. Yeah, so you you essentially pay one, you fight their dude, a, like fight their dude. Yeah. You pay one, them. reveal the cards, my dude's bigger, so I'm going to go get a hero's bracelet and put it on it. That's essentially what you want. And most of these dudes in this deck that you're going to be using it on are 10 power at least. And it's only if their dude is bigger than yours that you lose. Yeah, if it's equal, you still get it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's equal. You still get to go get the hero's bracelet. So with that, the hero's bracelet is two red and two for an addition that's a bestow addition. And it bestows for, for four. Three. Three. Three and tap. Three and tap. 
Bestowed creature gets plus four, plus four, swiftness, barrier, and precision. Yeah, seems good. For one mana. Yeah, and you get to play it for one mana, so you're just like, eh, one mana of this Ultra <laughs> Dragon gets plus four, plus four, swiftness, barrier, and precision, and you can't don't target touch it. it. And it just, it's silly. Like, that's, I was, that's what I wanted. I wanted big dudes, and I wanted to play martial arts tournament, and it's just fun. Yeah. And it works. Yeah. But especially works <laughs> with this cute so, combo that I was played on. I was going through my cards to find out what I needed in here, and I saw him, and I was like, I wonder. And I read him again, and I read him again, and I was like, holy crap, that does work. So Wellsu the Arc Major Fire is the last creature of the main deck, or the last Resonator, and he's six mana for a 14-14. Cool. Yeah. But wait, there's more. Yeah. And he says, when you play a chant, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. This ability triggers only once per turn. Seems pretty good. Seems solid. Yeah. Pretty solid. And he also has a God's Art, which is Grand Entrance. So it's a red, red. Reveal this card from your hand. You put him into the field. Just, that's that's all it does. That's all it does. So for two mana, you get a 14-14. And at the end of your opponent's next turn, he blinks out. Or he... Uh, Do you banish him, right? Remove this card from the game. Yeah, he removes just gone. himself. But you don't really care because the turn you play him for two, you can be like Hull's Magic or Hull's Martial Arts Tournament. Yep. You're probably not going to have a dude that's bigger than 14, so I get to go to a Hero's Bracelet, giving him swiftness, giving him precision and barrier. So you're just like, cool, take 18. And with it being a chant, you get to copy it. Yeah, so you God's Art and you play it and you copy it. And you essentially get two martial arts tournaments from one, and you get to go get two heroes bracelets because they both trigger separately. Yeah. So you're sin like you can swing for twenty two on turn three, which is pretty silly, because you just give them plus eight and you're just like, ha, yeah, go. Pretty solid. I mean, they have to have a clear board, and but they can't. Once once the martial arts tournament is resolving, they can't stop it. Yeah. Like they can't do anything once they've let martial arts tournament go through. Cause because it literally comes in bestowed on the dude. Yeah, and the bracelet has barriers, so therefore they can't target it. They have yeah. to target it beforehand. Yeah. And with Welser, it's just it's just fun because you're just like, it doubles up. <laughs> Bum, ow. Yeah. And if you saw our deck brawl, you saw in the last game where I literally had to do both Welsers in the same turn. I played one, and God's Arted another one, and then hit one Heroes Mar Holes Marshall tournament on them and it got just It just won. It just done. I got blown away. Because <laughs> you just like just swing whoosh. big dudes. And that's that's essentially what the deck, like the little combo is, is the Martial Arts tournament and the Heroes Bracelet. And then if you get Welser, it just adds to it. And the best thing about Force of All in this like silly combo deck is that you're not drawing dead cards. So if you draw like a Heroes Bros bracelet early, that's okay because you have all these other cards to play. Yeah. Like, then then it's fine. Yeah, and essentially, Heroes Bracelet also in your starting hand is essentially a free mulligan. Yeah. Because you always just get rid of that dude yeah, and get just, it. Just go away. Which is... Because you don't ever really want to have to play it for four. If you do, it you do. It's it's one of those things, but most likely you're going to just martial arts tournament it and, and that's what you want. But if you don't get all that, we have some stones that can help. Uh, so we have Magic Stone of the Hermit which is actually Fushi's stone. It adds a red, and you banish this card, target dragon gains swiftness. We have a couple dragons, so you sometimes you just need to be like, this dude gains swiftness. Yep. Swing. And that's that's why I ran more dragon of Kunlun, because even if you draw him, and you don't get to shoot something for 10, you can still play him and banish that stone, and he gets to get in yeah. there. He's basically another set at that point. Yeah. Uh, and then the other stone we run is Majin Stone, which is the... Uh, the Welser stone from back ago. It adds a red, or you banish this card, produce two red, spin this wheel only to play Wicked Spirits. And the two Wicked Spirits we have is yeah. Elixir the Majin and the Lava Majin. Lava Majin. So you can either turn one one of those if you really, really wanted to, but <laughs> if you I would to. advise against that because <laughs> yeah. you lose your stone to do that. <laughs> but it's mostly there to power out an Elixir if you really need to, just be like, get clear the board. And it just, it gives you that extra option to get her for cheaper. I mean, you lose stones to do it, so it may not be worth it, but it could be. Yeah. And then the final two stones are just fire magic stones, because you're just playing red. That's all we're doing. Might red well. burn. Yeah. Go for it. Overall, the deck is actually a lot of fun. It's a whole lot of fun. And being able to martial arts tournament and just be like, this dude's big is super good. Yeah. This dude's big. Swing. You can't touch him. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, making a 12-12 of 16-16, yeah, pretty fun, <laughs> right? And you can't do anything about it, I'm okay with that. 
thank you guys for joining us here today at Geektopia Island. This is the new the, uh, the new Sky Tournament, so I hope you all enjoyed it. The deck list will be down below, so go ahead and check that out. Give us a like, and we will see you all again next week. Bye. Bye. All right, guys, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and also hit the bell that gets you notifications on all of our content. Also, if you need the latest deck tech, it's going to be to the right. And if you need the latest gameplay videos, it's going to be down below.